Hi, I'm Robin, and this is Chet, and we are your hosts for Chet and Robin's Sea Leg Journeys. Sea Leg Journeys! Hi, it's cold in Florida today, so we thought, what else could we talk about but Alaska and glaciers? Well, you know, a glacier did roll by our house this morning. It was so cold. <laughs> so let's talk about the Mendenhall Glacier and the whale watching we did out of Juneau on our Princess Cruise, and it was Animal Planet recommended. We booked it online before we got the ship. Yes, um, it was a lovely tour. It was about five hours. It started with a 25-minute bus ride to the glaciers. And on the way, we had beautiful scenery to see. It was just absolutely breathtaking. We arrived at the Mendenhall Glacier Visitor Center. And you can see from the picture that there are large picture can you say that word? There's big windows up in there. Big windows up in there. <laughs> and you could see the glacier and um, it was the center. And inside the visitor center, you could see some of the wildlife that roams around out there. Well, not these two guys, but they used to <laughs> roam around out there. But uh, they also got other exhibits explaining the wildlife and the nature and what's going on out there. Mm -hmm. Like this little sign here you see in 1935, you could touch that glacier right here. But now That's you got to wander off the That's just amazing to me. Yeah, it's it's a great exhibit explaining what's happening up in Alaska. And to think that that glacier used to be where we're in this, where we were standing when we took this photograph, that glacier used to come all the way to this point. Oh yes. Well, you know, that's a, uh, the glacier is fed from an ice field north of Juneau and, uh, has a 13 mile long, it's a 13 mile long glacier. That's bigger than the one we went by our house this morning. <laughs> so they're actually in this picture you can see people walking on trails um they're actually trails that you can walk on that is about a three and a half mile loop so your trip at the glaciers it was only an hour so if you wanted to walk the trails you didn't want to spend very much time in the visitor center otherwise you would be late getting back to the bus and they weren't going to wait for you <laughs> and if you got mobility issues probably don't have the time because the distance that it is over the rocky gravelly terrain it's not a good place to uh, be walking it's definitely not a place for a wheelchair no even a cane would be difficult yeah. i hiked all the way down to nugget falls which was about um a mile mile and a half round trip maybe and um it as you can see in this photo it's sand and gravel and it rocks was and rocks, yes. Um, and you can see in the photo as well that there weren't too many children or elderly people that took that hike down. So, but you still have a lovely view from it from the visitor center. Yeah, you can really see very well from the visitor center. Yeah, so then we got back on the bus for about another 20 minute drive, I, guess, I suppose, mm -hmm. on our way to Ock Bay. Ock Bay for the whale watching. And when we arrived, uh, there was a lovely uh, jet powered catamaran waiting for us. It was very warm inside the cabin and once again it had large windows. You could see there were nice benches to sit on, even tables that if you were having a snack or something, uh, it was a very comfortable ride. It was, it was very comfortable. And uh, then we're off to Stevens Passage. How about that? How about that? So we're going to uh, see all kinds of critters out there. We're going to see orca. We're going to see um, seals. We're going to see bald eagles. Mm -hmm. We're going to see uh, humpback whales. And you could even stand on the outside area on the catamaran for an even closer view. We stayed on the inside um, just for our own personal comfort. Um, but once the whales were sighted, the captain would uh, tell everyone that whales were sighted and then, like the race was on and there were, you know all you see all these boats from another area <laughs> you know coming to see the whale and our way out to see the whale we did in fact see um sea lions uh on this buoy just hanging out on this book yes. i don't know there's probably four or five sea lions on this buoy that were just <laughs> huge things so it was exciting because the very first time we saw the fin of yes. the whales it was thrilling. Um, so the whales um, were humpback whales. And was it humpback, humpback whales, whales and, and killer whales killer that we whales. saw? And uh, they say that the whales come here in the summer. Is that what it is? Yeah, they come up here in the summer. 
and then they fatten all up, and then they head back to Hawaii. They go to Hawaii. So we wanted to go to Hawaii, too, but COVID stopped us from going to Hawaii. I wonder if it stopped the whales from going. <laughs> So we, we, yes. <laughs> so we saw lots of whales, um, killer whales and humpback whales, and we saw whale pods. And yes. it, you, it was so funny because you're trying to get a picture of the whale, but you're so fascinated in watching the whale, you forget to click the camera. I felt like the whale watching was really the whale watching us. The whale's watching us, yes. Swap up there and blow her hole and eyeball us a little bit. And it was fun. So the whales, when they come up, for to breathe for several small cycles mm -hmm. that last four or five minutes or so and then they dive down really deep is that the way it goes yeah yeah you're talking about humpback whales they go down and get this krill and small fish and all that and uh then they come back up and you see that tail right there on mm -hmm. the screen that's how they say goodbye, goodbye. And they're all individually marked. So these guys would know the name of them. They go, oh, that's Linda over there. <laughs> oh, there's <a> Jeffrey. <laughs> you know? But it really was the best tour between the glacier and the whale watching. It was totally worth the money. If you ever make your way to Alaska, that is definitely an excursion that we suggest. Yeah, Animal Planet recommended it, and I can see why. And so do we. So thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like and share our videos. And next time we're off to Skagway. Skagway. It's yes. going to be great. Don't miss it. Don't miss it.